not only commissions, uh, not only con contemporary art uh, projects that are made by living artists, but also Gordon Mata Clark. Um, yes. One of the seminal pieces for uh, this exhibition is a piece called Fake Estates by uh, Gordon Mata Clark. It's a piece that is also a little less known uh, of him. Yes. Um, and what is it? It's w this is one of the collages of one of the 15 lots that Gordon Mata Clark bought in the early 70s. And these were lots that, uh, that New York State sold for really little money. This one was $25. And, and there were lots that were, for this state, they were economic no economically not, uh, not very interesting so for in them. So, in fact, it's about this lot here. Yeah, this one is the one in Queens. And what Gordon Mata Clark did at that time was go there, document them. This is what the photographs uh, show. But then it's his, uh, his wife who made the collages. And uh, right... So it's really about the in-between spaces, the leftovers. Yes. Uh, yes. What is that which was not interesting for the city council themselves, but what Gordon Mata Clark himself thought as the ideal spaces to test his ideas on an architecture. And it's for, uh, important for us to have this in here because it's you see how it inspired a lot of contemporary artists that are working today, or how you could. Tadashikawamata. Yes, yeah. Carl Philips. Yeah. How you could at least make content links uh, through these works. To make it a little bit more vivid, we also included the video of Jaime Davidovic, which was at the time a friend of Gordon Mata Clark. And you see uh, Gordon Mata Clark and a friend of him um, measuring the sites, the lots that they bought. It's pretty funny to know that in the end they sold, or funny, interesting maybe <laughs> that they sold the lots because the taxes they had to pay on it were more expensive oh. uh, and became too expensive. As an art piece. Yeah.